Hey guys, uh, Nick Holden here, aka DVD Collector 96, and welcome to a new video on the channel. Okay, so quick thing before I start. I wasn't planning to do this uh, video on the channel, but now uh, I'm like, you know what? I'm also doing travel vlogs in the channel, so this kind of has to do with travel vlogs. So I went ahead and did it. Now, uh, I record uh, already, like, I think there are four, if I'm not mistaken, videos. And I'm planning to upload these on Sundays. So this is the first one of this series. Uh, I'm a collector. Uh, I love collecting things. I show you guys already my physical media collection. And I will be showing you a lot more of that. And that's the main... Uh, videos on the channel. Uh, I already show you a few toys that I have. I show you pins. I'm going to show you a little graph. And now it's time to show you my puzzle uh, collection. Okay, so the ones that I randomly do, those I'm not going to be showing. And I didn't record any video of those, but since Disney is part of the channel, and one of the videos I'm planning to do it's uh, my complete Disney collection that I'm really excited to do the video. I'm already doing a lot of videos of the Disney Movie Club on the channel, so Disney is a big part of my YouTube channel. So, um, it's going to be getting out on Sundays. Uh, the first one is going to be, after this one of course, is going to be uh, a Doom Boy Jigsaw puzzle. Then I'm going to be showing you guys a little Mermaid puzzle. Uh, Aladdin puzzle, I'm going to say from which uh, puzzle mark they are and the last one is going to be Pinocchio I don't have that one yet and I'm going to start working on that video and on that puzzle after I'm done with this one so without further ado um, this puzzle uh, my friend sent me a lot of uh, TikToks and I keep seeing the same image but it was a 45,000 pieces puzzle. Now, I do not have the space in my apartment to do a puzzle that big. I don't even know if I have the patience to sit down and do a puzzle that big by myself. So that was a big no. Uh, the biggest puzzle that I ever done is a thousand piece puzzle. And I haven't done any big puzzle by myself. I always have a little extra help, at least with a few pieces. Now, I've been following a lot this YouTube channel that I'm wanting to be leaving in the description down below because she's amazing. Uh, the name is Karen Puzzles. Uh, she got me a lot of, in these days, like, puzzles. And this is the first video that I'm going to be recording like this one because I've been following a lot of steps that she does and I think that helps a lot. So... The name, like I said, Karen Puzzles, I'm going to be leaving the description down below. And now, uh, the story behind this puzzle. I was looking the other day through Amazon, and the first thing that I was looking through was like United States symbols. And I didn't have any uh, result. And then I was like watching uh, big puzzles in the US, and this one popped out. The puzzle that I wanted since I watched it on TikTok pop out and I was super excited to get it. Okay, so this version is uh, 1,500 pieces. Uh, this is the biggest puzzle that I'm going to be doing uh, today. And it's really excited to me to be uh, putting together this puzzle uh, because first of all, I love uh, to travel around the world. Um, and second of all, this is from uh, Landmarks, that's the name of the puzzle on the US. They have a lot of collections like Landmarks around the world, uh, Landmarks in South Asia, I think it is. And I love a lot of them, but this definitely was my favorite. Uh, the many details that this puzzle have, I don't think it's going to be that easy, uh, because it has too many details, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to be that difficult. So. Let's see uh, how long it took me. It takes me. Uh, I'm not going to be spending like days and days and days. So I'm going to be coming in and out uh, on the puzzle. 
and this one I want to record a little extra like talking and things like that because the other videos are going to be just me showing you guys the puzzle and my progress through the days so yeah uh, this puzzle is from Educa if I'm not mistaken um, they are in a Spain company because a lot of the instructions uh, come in Spain now this is going to be an unboxing because uh, I haven't opened the puzzle in the inside but I took already out the string wrap out of camera since I wasn't planning to do the video so I'm sorry about that but still the puzzle is brand new as you can see there uh, that's the cover image it has uh, Washington, LA, San Francisco, Seattle a lot of significant things a lot of them I visit them already and a lot of them I'm missing to visit and I'm planning to do it soon if the money and everything allows okay so a Duca puzzle uh, that's the front cover and then uh, this how it looks in the back um, it just comes with a uh, Duca puzzle personalizados or personalized in Spanish uh, Spanish, English, uh, uh, a puzzle fashion made in AU Spain so high quality materials and perfectly fitting uh, pieces made in Europe and it comes with a fixed puzzle glue included uh, if you want to pause it and read it in a different language I'm going to be showing at the end the box just by itself so um, the puzzle itself uh, I never take them apart because it's like I don't know I did them already uh, the decent ones I keep them on the like I put glue at the end uh, to put it together and then I have the dual one on my wall this one I think is going to the wall now uh, before I open it I was doing them on my table but my table is crystal clear so I, I put it my table is crystal clear so it's always kind of hard to watch all the pieces so I ended up always having to use white paper and then by watching the channel she recommended to do the puzzles on a foam card and then I was looking through a few places and they were a little bit pricey and I went to Walmart and they have them for like I got this 20 by 30 white and I got it like for 98 cents something like that so I decided to buy four uh, because if I want to put it together I need first of all the space and I need to uh, flip it so I can put it together I was going to use my dinner table but then I was like I don't know how much time it's going to take me to do the puzzle so I'm not going to use a dinner table anymore and since I have this now I can do it on the table in front of the TV I can be watching a movie on the end on the background I can be listening to music I can be doing whatever and I can be sitting on the floor on my living room and I can finish the day and I can just put it somewhere on the table and it's not going to be taking space because let me show you I put two of these ones together so as you can see it's really big and I can even close it so I'm guessing since this one have the tape and I don't want the tape to be on the video uh, I'm gonna be using like this uh, hand fire or the tape. I want to test it on the camera. I guess the tapes are going to show that much. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Okay, so it's a big box, a uh, big steady box. So if you take out the cover, get out like this. It doesn't come with a poster, so you have to be looking through the um, thing. Or I know a lot of people that they just love to go through the puzzle without looking at the image. I guide through the image a little bit. It comes on a big secret bag, like the cereal. And then this is the glue staple together. So this is the box. Let's open it up. This is the official unboxing. Okay. So far, okay, guys. This might sound silly, but always check uh, the back. The other day I was doing another puzzle that you're going to be seeing on the channel. That is a Titanic puzzle, and it's really frustrating when you're almost at the end and you're missing a piece. 
I did a Paris one, it's the only one I have done that he was missing a piece and that's a pain, I don't like uh, doing puzzles with missing pieces and even if you take it out it's a work that you did already so I decided to do like practice. Always check the back because sometimes pieces get stuck in the back and you have the piece but you left them on the back. So right now, I check the back, it's really empty, I have all the pieces here on the table. Now, for what I can see, the quality of the pieces is amazing and the image is going to look really great uh, once it's complete. Uh, I'm going to show you a little closer now the puzzle. And I always start by sorting uh, the edges. I always start by doing the edges and then I start the sorting process. I know a lot of people hate to do sorting and it's a little of a pain but believe me at the end and in the long run it's going to save you a lot of time. So I'm going to be putting pieces on both of the um, uh, boxes because I can use it and then I have an extra white uh, foam so I can put pieces here as well when I'm doing sorting. But yes guys, uh, I'm super excited to put this one together. Uh, like I say, the bigger one that I have done is uh, a thousand and K pieces. So this one is going to be a challenge for me. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys now the complete puzzle and the video. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the pieces are super shiny. Uh, this is from the San Francisco Bridge. Oh, stay there. These pieces from the San Francisco Bridge, uh, and then, like I say, I always start uh, sorting by starting by with uh, borders, and they have like a uh, blue carton on the back. Or oh, the camera, please get focused. So yes, um, let me start by doing the sorting first, and before I do anything else, let me guys show you guys uh, how the box looks like, and so you can see the puzzle put it a little bit there okay so this is how the box uh, looks like like a little bit more yes okay so this is how the box uh, looks like a duca puzzle and then you can see Chicago uh, LA I think this is Epco guys please somebody let me know in the comments I think this is the ball from Epcot then we got the Golden Gate uh, Seattle uh, we got New York here the top we go what we got Washington uh, before I start the puzzle I was thinking that I want to start by doing the this monument uh, because I recently went to Washington and I definitely want to do the Washington monument too so yes uh, let me go ahead and start the sorting and uh, keep you updated Okay guys, so I just finished the initial sorting, uh, I just was sorting the edges and I was looking for the San Francisco Bridge and one of the monuments that I want to put together, uh, so still a lot of sorting to do, it's late today so I'm not going to spend so much time doing this puzzle today. Here washing new girl, let me show you the board, so all these are the edges and then the four corners. And then uh, here are mostly the San Francisco parts. Uh, this is the Hollywood sign. And then on the box, I have all the rest of the pizzas. So something funny, oh, this is actually from the San Francisco. Something funny that I'm thinking that is that 
Uh, since this puzzle has so many distinctive scenes, I'm going to take random pieces and then just locate it on the image and put it on the table. Um, I have never done that, so I'm just going to try it. And since this video is inspired by current puzzles, uh, I'm going to do what she always does. And she says that if you want to see if the puzzle is going to have a good start, you always have to... The first piece that you try, you have to... I have here my first two pieces and they go together so I'm going to have a great puzzle experience so stay tuned One fun fact, 80% uh, of the time that I do the sorting I don't know why sometimes I miss uh, these edges in this case I already have the top uh, edge so it's a little bit of a big puzzle. I'm super excited to watch it completed, guys. Uh, so far today I'm in the in a good part. Uh, let's hope and see if I got all the edge pieces on the first uh, sorting. So let's say yes. Uh, let's see what you think and stay tuned. Guys, I did it. I found the complete border edges and now it's complete look no pieces missing i did the perfect soaring for the biggest puzzle i have done to date so look how beautiful i'm so excited to finish putting it together but i'm guessing uh tonight i'm only going to be maybe sorting a few of these pieces and like i say i'm going to take random pieces and put it on the table all I'm going to be doing today um, it's been like three episodes of uh, New Girl so I'm been uh, doing this like for an hour so um, for an hour I did a good progress so yeah uh, stay tuned okay guys so it's almost 1 I am I have to wake up early tomorrow for work but I got a, I got cap doing the puzzle and I lost track of time uh, so I'm going to be really sleepy tomorrow but it was worth it, I did some progress, so let me show you real quick an update. As you can see here, uh, these are the pieces that I still have to go through, uh, the box is there, and then I started putting uh, pieces here on the white board, I'm going to use that one tomorrow, then on top of that I start putting like the sky pieces, and then I still have to work a little bit more on the San Francisco bridge but if you can see I did a part already I started working on the signs as Las Vegas uh, I have a few Hollywood pieces here then I have this one almost complete uh, Statue of Liberty I have it almost complete uh, Lincoln Memorial I have it almost complete I managed to find some of these uh, pieces as well uh, but yes, uh, so far, uh, let me show you the, the complete, uh, that's how it's looking. I uh, will continue tomorrow and keep you guys updated on day 2, so see you soon. Hey guys, uh, so day 2 of uh, me doing the big uh, puzzle. And before I show you a little bit what I've been doing, I want to give you like a few like extra tips and things. Like... Um, Guys, everyone, if everybody that uh, likes to do puzzle, like follow your own, like how it's easier for you to do. Uh, don't get stressed. Uh, enjoy the process where you like doing the puzzle. Always, like try to take breaks. Like don't try to rush it and do it at once, because sometimes you have the piece like right there in front of your eyes, but you cannot, you just cannot see it because. You got burned of how much progress you did and things like that so take it one day at a time uh, go with peace uh, stand up uh, take snacks and things like that because like i say it's a process that you should be enjoying uh, i'm enjoying a lot this puzzle because like i say i have seen so many videos of people putting it together that when i was able to found it uh, and it's a space that I can handle to have on my apartment. I was happy uh, to be able to put my hands on it. Um, so I came straight from work today. 
and I started working in the puzzle. I stayed up until late last night, almost at 1 a.m., uh, like starting to do the puzzle. Um, I still haven't done like 100% of a story. I have a lot of pieces here on the side. And what I'm doing right now, it's uh, I'm looking like piece by piece. I'm putting like sky pieces on top, and then I'm leave I'm leaving pieces like right now. I don't know where they go, just on the side for now. I have another uh, white foam on the floor, so I'm going to put all the pieces there. One of the things that I like is to have all the pieces facing up, so I can see. And for example, I concentrated last night on two memorials and I'm trying to do all the signs because I think the signs are one of the more easy pieces to put together. So yeah, basically that's what I'm doing. And I will still do a little progress. Uh, for me today, it's been like 30 to 40 minutes that I've been working on it. And like I say, I'm just Con trying to concentrate on the skies, on the signs. I have almost all the red pieces because I think the San Francisco Bridge is one of the biggest things that the puzzle has. And yes, I'm excited to see it uh, come together. And yes, uh, keep you guys updated. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it's a still day, and I love to do the puzzle with uh, clear daylight. Let me show you the progress that I have right now. So that's how the puzzle is looking, like I did last night, the complete border is done. As you can see, there is a lot of signs there. Uh, the Statue of Liberty is coming to life. I have one little uh, piece of the Golden Gate Bridge. And then, like I said, I have those pieces on the side, uh, sky pieces on top. And then I have that huge mess that eventually I'm going to put it over that carton. But yes. Um, Keep uh, watching the video so you see how uh, the progress is going. Okay guys, so it's almost 10 p.m. So I'm going to finish uh, for the day. I'm a little bit tired. My eyes are starting to see like uh, dull, but I think I did a pretty good advance. Uh, I have almost the complete Saddle of Liberty on. I have almost a golden bridge and a few signs. So pretty good progress for a second day. And I'm excited to continue and to see this uh, puzzle come together like fully. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. Hey guys, so I spent like almost two days without doing like 
too much progress that's why I didn't did any kind of clips uh, I did manage to come on Friday uh, to my house and I went out but when I came and I put like five pieces then yesterday I went out the whole day and I still managed when I came like to put five pieces which is not nothing at all and today's Sunday I wake up a little late so I started working around 2 p.m. on the postal and I'm already been doing uh, a lot of progress like you saw in the last clip and this will be my last trajectory since I'm almost at the end of the puzzle so what I did was the complete puzzle over here those pieces I have there on the top are like sky pieces then all of these pieces that I have over here are like building pieces and then I have four last groups that I'm going to put on the phone board uh, really soon this is one of the monuments uh, then these are all like uh, brown kind of like mountain pieces these are all like nature uh, pieces with a lot of green on them and these last ones are like the mountains so I'm not sure if I will finish today I wanna say like two couple of extra hours or maybe a little bit more uh, doing the puzzle but yeah, uh, keep you guys updated Okay guys, so it's almost 12 p.m. of Sunday, it's about to become Monday already and I'm almost finished with the puzzle. I have only those pieces that you see there left. I'm not going to go to bed with uh, only these pieces missing, so I can't believe I'm about to finish my first 1500 pieces and I did it by myself nobody helped me this time to do sorting or to put a piece so this work of art is only me and I'm so happy about it I have loved puzzles all my life and I'm so happy to be able to bring this kind of content to the channel because it's a part of me and it's a part of me as a collector so yeah let's see how this beautiful puzzle comes together to life Okay guys, so I'm about to put the last piece of the puzzle, there it goes, and puzzle completed. Look that puzzle, how beautiful it looks, like absolutely amazing. I can't wait to put this on my wall as an article, because it has almost every single place, I have seen most of them, I want to finish visiting all of them, but let me show you like in details. Guys, I 100% recommend that 10 out of 10, you get the Chicago Bean, uh, there is like the LA where they put all the movies and then the Hollywood sign. I'm pretty sure that ball is from Epcot, but I'm not 100% sure, I might be wrong. So let me know if you guys know from where is that ball. Uh, the San Francisco Bridge that is so amazing on the American culture. Uh, Las Vegas, that is a place that I still want to go, then of course we got Broadway, Arizona, we got uh, the Washington Memorial, the Lincoln Memorial, then the White House, uh, we got the Statue of Liberty, uh, taxis representing New York State, but we also have um, a few of the uh, main buildings, uh, we have the beautiful rainbow over there that a friend was like, you need to put together the rainbow, uh, the Yellowstone Park, uh, the Seattle Needle, so yeah, uh, a lot of cool scenes that they have, oh, uh, the Central Park over there, so yes guys, um, 
Super happy to have this added to my collection and yes, uh, this is the complete result of almost three days if I'm not mistaken. Okay guys, so that's the complete result as you can see. Uh, final thoughts on the puzzle. Uh, it's the first Educa uh, puzzle that I've done. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm thinking they are Spanish uh, from Spain. Uh, um, sorry, uh, company. And I love when I do puzzles like this, um, like how big the pieces are. Uh, well, I should say it's how tiny, and then uh, the way the image is printed, I love that. Uh, the only thing is that it doesn't stay together, so it's not the kind of puzzle that you can uh, like pull up and then like just put it together. So I definitely need to use uh, two extra form cards just to flip it up. Because, like I say, I want to keep it and I want to put it on my wall. I have already three puzzles on my wall, so I'm guessing those three are going to be down. And then I'm going to keep this one, that is the one I love. And out of 10, I give it a 10. It's, it wasn't pricey at all. I ended up paying, like, if I'm not mistaken, 20 something dollars for the puzzle. Uh, like I said, this is the biggest puzzle. I have done to date. Uh, next up, I think will be the 2000. Maybe I go ahead and go to the 3000, but that's going to take a while for me. And guys, uh, that's all for this puzzle. I just want to say thank you to all if you stay until the end of the video. Uh, this is going to be a series of videos on the channel. Uh, I think there are going to be like six different ones every Sunday. Uh, I will put them at 10 I am. Uh, this time so the last one I will be doing for a while uh, in my personal life on the introduce channel uh, I just gonna take that much time uh, to be doing puzzles I just got the liver one from Amazon that is going to be the one that is going to end the series for a while uh, I'm excited to be doing extra more in the future but like I said I do not have enough time right now to be spending that I still want to watch a lot of movies, I still have bought a lot of Blu-rays and 4Ks that I need to watch and yes, um, like I always say guys, hope you guys are enjoying with this new kind of content on the channel if you are, please leave me a like, let me know in the comments and please subscribe to my channel so this family can continue growing and keep uh, your notification bells on so you don't miss any of the videos that I upload on YouTube uh, like I said, these ones are going to be a series of puzzling videos on Sundays. Uh, stay tuned next Sunday to see which is the next one that I put together. But yes, uh, that's all for today and see you guys again soon on a new video.